Hello everybody, what's up? This is Kimizuchi, and in today's video, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to pick shading colors. Now, a bit of a disclaimer, this video is not going to teach you how to know where to shade and like light sources and stuff. This video is strictly on picking the colors, because for a long time, picking shading colors was something I really struggled with, but I found some different methods, and um, yeah. And I thought, hey, now that I kind of know what I'm doing, maybe I could, should pass, could pass on a little knowledge, because sharing is caring. Okay, so all of these methods are going to involve having a multiply layer above your base colors. So this first method I see a lot of people do is they just pick one color and they shade everything with it, whether it be like a purple or the sky color. So the environment here is like blue, so I'm gonna pick this nice blue color and we're just gonna shade a little bit. So this first method, the pros are, it's pretty simple, really, um, it saves a lot of time. That's why you see it a lot in, like, animation, and, like, I personally use it in my webcomic. Um, but I don't really, really like to use environment colors, I like to use purple, which is going to bring me to the, um, uh, point that I want to talk about. So, when picking colors, um, or, let me, let me start a different point. So, another method or a thing you should know is that you have your warm colors, which are your colors closer to red, and then your cool colors, which are like closer to blue. And the thing about red and blue is they have a neutral color, which is purple, which is like the two of them combined. Therefore, purple is kind of like neither warm nor cool. And so, what I see a lot of, and so what I see a lot of artists do is they have this method called hue shifting, which to mention what I brought about earlier is basically where you take each color on a multiple layer and you just shift the hue slightly. So for this gold, and you shift it towards purple. So which means for warmer colors they'll become warmer and for cool colors they'll become a little bit cooler. So this gold we're gonna shift it to more orange. And yeah, let's begin. And then for the skin, we're gonna shift it to a more red. Okay, for this blue, we're going to pick a more, we're going to shift it to this more purplish blue. And this kind of leads to my one con for this method, and that is that um, because if you're only shifting the hue, it's going to be hard to control your values of shading because some colors, some shading is going to be really light and some's going to be really dark. So you want to keep that in mind a little bit. So maybe try shifting the value a little bit depending on your light source. So finally, where you got. Another thing to keep in mind is for white, you can really just color it with whatever you want. So for me, per so for me, with these eyes, I'm going to just shade them same color. I'm shading this the green, which is this nice, kind of this nice um, cyan color. So yeah, this method looks pretty nice, and the only like big con is that this method really takes one time and again it's a little bit hard to control your values which brings me to my last method so this last method that I'm going to talk about is using just two colors you pick a warm you pick red and you pick and you use red for all your warm colors so for all you so for this gold it's for the hair
And then for my cool colors, I'm gonna basically go to the opposite end and pick this nice blue. Okay, so that's my third method, and again, all three of these methods work perfectly fine. Um, I generally I use all three um, for different scenarios. It's really just up to personal preference. But I wanted to like just show some different methods that I see people use and that I use myself. Um, and uh, yeah, I hope this video was able to help you. Um, comment down below which method you think is your favorite and that you'll use and that you'll start using more. Um, and also, if you want to see more tutorials, also comment what you'd like me to teach next. Granted, I'm still learning myself when it comes to art, so um, bear with me. Uh, but if I find out anything new, I'll be sure to share. I'll also try to upload more. I know I've been really inconsistent with that, but yeah. Until then, please like this video if you enjoyed or learned something. Subscribe for more videos, and also make sure to go read my webcomic. Season 2 is currently pre premiering monthly, so yeah, go check that out. Um, do all, do all the stuff and I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching and yeah. Later. <laughs>